So I'm like, uh, 저기요, 실례합니다. 지금 남자친구랑 통화 통화 중이에요. I was trying to be formal AF and respectful AF. I should have been rude. I should have been a bitch. And when I left, I was a little worried that they'd follow me, and I wasn't wrong because they did end up following me. What's up, idols? It's CC Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel. So, we are back for yet another story time. Well, it was more of a creeps in Korea type of video. Before we start this video, I want to mention a few days ago, I announced a giveaway on my channel. It was partnered with Busy Body Care. It would really mean a lot to me if you guys could check out her website. It'll all be linked down below to help support her new growing small business. You can find out more about these goodies and yummy smelling soaps. Back in December, you guys changed her life. After you saw the video I made for her, the first video I made for her, you guys blew up her website. Yo, <laughs> she was running out of stock on everything. And I would really love if we could make this happen for her again. She's the sweetest woman, very hardworking. She still works her main job, but she's also trying to grow her business. She just started in November. It would really, 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 like, it would really mean a lot to me if you guys would help her out. Everything will be linked below if you're interested in getting some all natural handmade soaps and more to come. There's, she's got a lot in store for her brand and her products. Not only that, but she was generous enough. She's given away $500 and some of her goodies. So go check out that video if you guys want to know more about her new Valentine's Day launch and if you want to learn how to win in this giveaway. So the main reason we're here, I don't know if you guys remember back in like 2020, I did like a whole series of creeps in Korea. Those videos did tend to get demonetized. I guess I was too graphic. YouTube is really tricky sometimes. Anywho, I have a fresh one for y'all. Now, the reason I didn't talk about it at the time was because I had a boyfriend and he would be upset and I did lie to him, but it was for a good reason. I can make the video now because and after y'all watch this video, I want y'all to do y'all thing down there, get busy, and let me know if you think I was being paranoid or justified with how I responded. By the way, um, y'all might be looking at me like, Isis, you were about to be 30, why are you rocking pigtails? Uh, <laughs> I can explain. I just did a reel, new jeans, oh my god. So yeah, go check that out too. I'm not a good dancer, but I like to dance. There's a difference. <laughs> okay, anywho, I will set the scene. This was May of 2022. This was very recent, just a few months almost a year ago. And you guys know I was back in Korea. I was kicking it in Jeju with my homegirl, Bria. I used to live in Jeju for a whole year. Like that was my first year in Korea. I lived down there. I had not been back since 2017. Well, January, 2018, then I moved to the mainland. In general, I'm someone who just likes to go for walks. I like to walk a lot. So it was May. I didn't. I wanted to try and get out there before it got too hot because when it's summertime, I shut down. I don't like to go outside. I don't like to sweat. I don't like the bugs. I don't like to just feel hot and like I need a shower. So I was like, all right, it's May. It's still warm. It's hot, but it's, it's doable. So one of these days, and I actually vlogged part of this, my first week in Jeju vlog or my first Jeju vlog, whatever. If you saw that video, I recorded part of this encounter with these guys and um, that video okay so let me just explain <laughs> in that vlog i did like my whole first week back in jeju so this was like day two or three maybe and bria said hey i gotta go to this hagwon and teach like a class or two you want to come with me walk around the area hang out and then we can go do something after because what we wanted to do was closer to her job and i was like all right cool that's fine i like to walk anyway that's actually the same hagwon i end up teaching at for over a month of a little over a month over the summer, I was just helping out while one of the teachers was stuck in South Africa, COVID flight issues and stuff. So I was like, I'll fill in. And it was kind of nice to dust off my teaching boots again. <laughs> so yeah, while I was waiting for Bria to finish work, I decided to call up my ex. We were talking on the phone, we did a video call and I was vlogging. And like I said, I didn't tell y'all this story because I knew it would make my ex upset. I lied to him, but it was a white lie. It was an innocent lie, but he would still be mad about it. So I just never talked about this again. So in that vlog, I am seen <laughs> walking closer to the water and like the pier and trying to vlog because I'm, I'm doing a week in Jeju vlog. And I only had a Wi-Fi egg and I noticed the closer I got to the water, the signal got shoddy. So I'm like walking around because I'm about to lose the call with my ex. And I was just like, uh-oh, uh-oh. So I was walking towards land again and it was like this nice gazebo looking thing. It was like slightly raised off the ground. It had like a roof and a shelter. So I could get like the nice breeze would be shaded from the sun. So it was nice. I was like, oh, this is perfect. Sat back, propped my feet up and I was ready to talk and vlog. This area, it was very residential and there wasn't a lot of people around at all. Like I didn't see anybody but these other two guys. It was very quiet, very peaceful, warm, windy. It was a nice day and I was just like, wow, because I like to vlog more when nobody's around because I do feel very self-conscious vlogging with people like, fuck you filming yourself for. So I was just like, this is perfect, no one's around. Cold and empty. No one's around to judge me. 
So then I see these two guys pull up in a white car and it looked like they drove somewhere remote so one of the guys could pee because he's like facing the car but peeing like on the car, like under the car, I don't know. So I was just like, ill. Mm. That's nasty. Um, I'm gonna go throw up. <laughs> I'm just continuing with my phone call, continue with my vlog. Now they were young. They looked somewhere between 19 and 21. Like they were really young looking. They weren't like old or anything. They definitely looked younger than me. One looked kind of like a like a trainee maybe. Like he was he took a lot of effort in how he looked. He was kind of skinny, you know, trendy haircut. The other dude looked like the brother that wasn't gonna make it. <laughs> Got <he. laughs> So while one of them was peeing, the other one was kind of like looking at me, tapped to get his friend's attention or his brother. I don't know their relation to each other, but it was two guys. And he kind of looked at him and was just like, oh, like, like pointing at me. And I was just like, oh, great. So then I noticed them walking towards me a bit. And if you saw that vlog, I caught the tail end of that first encounter with them walking away. These two dudes came over in the middle of my conversation. Where you come from? Where are you from? Oh, you speak Korean well. Are you here alone? I'm like, no, my friend's coming. Never tell people you're alone. So this is where I get to explain everything else that happened that y'all did not see in that vlog. So yeah, they saw me, they were walking towards me like, hello, hi, I was like, hi. They asked me, oh, where do you come from? And I was like, oh, 미국에서 왔어요. And it's like, oh, whoa, 한국어 너무 잘하시네요. 한국말 너무 잘하시네요. Like that's, you speak Korean very well. That's like a phrase I'm very familiar with. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have answered in Korean because I think that just encouraged them. You know, you speak a little bit of a language and then people think you're fluent and you can understand everything they're saying. Cause they were saying a lot of stuff in Korean and I didn't know what they were saying. I was just like, I didn't sign up for this. I probably should have used big, long English words just to confuse them and deter them and make them not even want to pursue me any further. Or just be like, oh, I don't know what she's saying and walk away. So yeah, they said I can speak Korean well. And then they go, what has sale? Like why, why, I guess, why can you speak Korean? So I say, I used to be an English teacher. They're walking closer to me while they're asking these questions. And like my ex was getting mad because he can hear me speaking in Korean to somebody and he was, hears the voices, he hears the guy's voices because they're coming closer to me. He's like, what's going on? Who are you talking to? Who's there? And I was just like, oh, I don't know, randoms, whatever. So I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, sorry, but right now I'm speaking with my boyfriend. I was trying to be formal AF and respectful AF. I should have been rude. I should have been a bitch. So then I recorded them walking away and that was the end of it, or so I thought. They they stopped talking to me and they walked away, but then they just started leaning against their car and still just like talking to each other and pointing at me and just The thing with this is like, I was also pretty close to their car. Like it's two guys, just me, no one else around. I'm in this gazebo and they're not parked that far. Like they're, they're there, like they're really close to me. So it was uncomfortable. So then one of them walks over to me and asks if I'm alone. Mind you, <laughs> I am wearing, I don't know if you guys have seen those, hold up, I'll show you. So like I said, I was talking with my boyfriend at the time. This, the whole time, this whole conversation, I was wearing these. Big ass headset, right? Like what I can hear is perfectly unobstructed. Like they really, they were just coming up to me, talking to me. I'm like, you might as well be a silent film star. I can't hear what you're saying. Like I'm talking with someone, big ass headphones on. So like I'm talking real loud on the phone, like ha ha ha, ha ha ha, laughing harder and louder, hoping that they would just walk away because at this point I just see lips moving. I don't know what he's saying. And instead of like just walking away, cause that's a really awkward situation, right? Wouldn't you just walk away? Instead, he kind of stopped and was just like smiling and nodding at me. And I was just like, what the? So then I'm finally, I pull back one of the headphones and he asked me if I'm waiting for someone. I said, yes, I'm waiting for my friend. He said, oh, okay, walked away. And I guess to relay that information to his homie, he was just like, oh. I was just like, <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Y'all gonna make me leave, right? And it sucks because it was such a comfortable, cozy little spot to just relax. Cause I was walking for a while before that. So after about five minutes, the other one, the one that was peeing on the car, the one that looked like the potential trainee, he walks up to me and he asked me if I'm waiting for a man or a woman. Mind your damn motherfucking business, bitch! So I pretended not to understand. I didn't even pull my head back. Like, I just... But that just made him get closer and repeat himself. Oh my god. So I pulled my head back again, my headphone back, just to reveal one ear. And I was like, I'm sorry, I don't speak Korean. Can you please just leave me alone? Polite enough, but also enough English that hopefully they'll be like, oh, okay, bye. So he, like, reached in to, like, shake my hand, I guess, to apologize. I don't know. And I was just like, no, no, <laughs> thanks. And I got up and I, like, backed away. And he like, oh, okay. And then they walked off again, back to his homie, leaning on the white car, still just staring, not saying anything, not doing anything. So I said, fuck this, and I walked away. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. 
I finally got up and walked away. And again, part of that was in the vlog where I said, all right guys, so they didn't leave and I decided to walk away because I felt awkward and uncomfortable and I didn't feel totally safe, so I just walked away. But then these creeps also got in their car and left. And when I left, I was a little worried that they'd follow me and I wasn't wrong because they did end up following me. I can head to the beach where there's people, there's pedestrians, there's traffic, there's potential witnesses. <laughs> That's what I may need in this situation, witnesses. So yeah, they get in their car and they go past the, it's like one main road. So I didn't really think much of it when I saw their car go past me the first time. Emphasis on the first time, cause it passed me like two more times. So I decided let me go and walk on the beach because you can't drive on the sand. <laughs> create as much distance as possible, wait for Bray to get off of work. And I remember there was like this, um, a cafe and it had like an African name cause I stopped and I hope I got some of that in the vlog. I might not have, but I was just like, wow. Like I didn't expect to see anything with an African name here in Jeju, South Korea. So that's where they parked. And the way the beach was, it, was, it, it wasn't like a wide sand, like it was pretty shallow. And then it was like a guardrail for a walkway, like a, a cemented pathway, a guardrail, and then a step down, there's like just the sand and the beach. But there's a lot of kids getting out of school now, which is why I'm like, Bria, Ali. There's a lot of old couples and tourists and people enjoying the weather. It was May, it was a really nice day. So I got on the other side of the guardrail, I'm walking up the beach, like upwards. They were sitting on these benches behind me, and like, as I'm walking up farther, like this is me going up farther and this is them hopping from bench to bench. So like they're staying parallel to me, but not getting any closer. And it was weird, but this is where the lie happened. Uh, my ex asked if they were gone and if they left me alone. And I just say, yeah, I don't see him anymore. Just, I mean, what is he, he was in Japan. What was he gonna do? He didn't know where I was. He don't speak Korean. All he was gonna do was get mad, maybe jealous, annoyed. I don't know. So I just say, yeah, yeah, they're gone, whatever. Honestly, at this point I was more annoyed than scared because they were keeping a distance. Like I wasn't really worried about them trying anything, especially with so many people around. And I knew Bria was about to be off of work and she goes to the gym like four or five days a week. She could take them easily. But I was annoyed that they were still watching me. And like, I looked back at them and they didn't wave or look away and act like they wasn't doing, like they knew that I knew they were there and they did not care. So after about 20 minutes, Bria finally said, hey girl, I just got out, where are you at? So I sent her my location on Kakao and she was like, damn, like you far. And I was like, yeah, it's a long story. I'll explain when you get here. I had to walk up the beach. So this does mean I have to leave the sand and go back up to like a more pick upable spot somewhere she can access me. <laughs> so because I was about to go meet Bria, I got off the phone with my ex. So this is the first time I don't have my headphones on. I got my arm down cause I was, you know, vlogging and showing him the beach and stuff. And I was also vlogging with my camera in this hand, holding my phone in this hand on me, flipping it so you can see the ocean. And I had my headset on. So this is the first time I got to take my headset off because I was like, all right, babe, I'm about to go meet Bria. He's like, all right, cool, like have fun. Let me know how it goes. And as soon as I take off my headphones, I hear, hello, excuse me. And I, I have familiar voice. I knew who it was, did not turn around, did not acknowledge. I'm just walking towards Bria. Just get to Bria because she gonna kick their ass. So yeah, I finally get to the car park, the car park. I've been in London too long. So I get to the parking lot <laughs> and I see Bria and she's like, hey girl, like she's blasting music and stuff. And she's like, why the fuck are you all the way up here? And I was like, girl, it's a long story. And I told her about how these dudes were following me. She's like, what the fuck, where are they? And I didn't see them anymore. I didn't see them anymore. So I hope that means they didn't see me anymore. You'll never see me again. If you feel uncomfortable, remove yourself from the situation, even if you were in a very comfortable spot. And also don't be afraid to be rude because I hate to admit it, I get like that, especially since I said, oh, Miku Saramio, they knew I was American. Sometimes I always feel the need to represent my, like where I come from and who I am in the most positive, professional, polite manner. And sometimes you gotta be a bitch. Like sometimes you just need to be rude. And I hate to say that, cause I don't wanna reinforce negative stereotypes. So I'm always like, oh yeah, I'm like overly polite in situations where I shouldn't be. So anyway, um, do y'all think I was tripping? Um, were they just trying to talk and have a friendly conversation? Should I not have been polite? Should I have been mean? What would you have done? Let me know down below in the comments. And that was it. Thanks for watching. If you did, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Annyeong.